So today, different day, different hotel room. Check this place out. It's like a, it's like a teeny tiny apartment. It's totally not what I wanted since there's plenty of places with like pools that have a proper like beach hotel vibe, but whatever. So I wanted to cover why I am terrible on social media. Um, there was a recent, there was a recent Reddit thread talking crap about me, maybe not so recent. And somebody said that I'm terrible at search engines, which is true. I don't care about search engines. And I'm terrible at social media, which is also true. And then I wanted to talk about why I'm terrible at social media and why you should be terrible at social media too. But then I realized, realized I want to tell you a bit of a story instead. Five minutes or less. There's his friend. He's in his 70s and he was one of the guys that brought a big car company to the US made a ton of money, had a real interesting life, and then we were already friends, and then his wife died. And after his wife died, he went really downhill, and he was already an older guy, and he was, you know, he was the kind of guy, like, wearing, like, sandals with socks, and, like, the shorts pulled up high, and the shirts tucked in, like, retirement home guy, right? And his wife died, and it was just, it was over. I thought, honestly, I thought he was just done. And then, it took like two years. For two years, he was just, he was really a mess. And then after two years, he started a movie production company, went to Hollywood, um, directed, not directed, but like was the company guy for, for big movies, his company, um, got a smaller, cool house, bought like interesting cars, and he really came back. Like he really, he started being like, a guy in his 30s it was amazing like the guy's been my friend for so long and that's kind of the reason like he's got soul like he's a lot of just things I don't see in a lot of people like he knows how to live he knew how to live when his wife was alive and after she died and after those two years he was just like you know what Jake I'm, I'm gonna make the most out of what I've got left and he really honestly and he's, he's still around and he really there are not a lot of people who have as many stories to tell as this guy just from the last 10 years and amazing guy i wish i could i wish i could put him on video um probably could and so so at one time we had lunch and this really stuck with me he he said to me and, and keep in mind like in the perspective of a guy who's like is always traveling always doing like outlandish awesome things and he says to me you know i might have 10 good summers left and i might think about that think about think about you arrive at a point where you're 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 living right and you're 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 not just living in front of a computer at work or stupid Instagram or Facebook like you're living like you're like you're going places and you're doing stuff and life is exciting and then you realize you're about done like your body is just gonna you know like once you're like 75 or so like and that was his that was his feeling about it like imagine you arrive at a point where the number of summers as he called them is like a number that's like tangibly small that think about that so you just think about that for a second while you're on youtube watching videos and and we're going to move on to the next video and watch it and hours and hours will go by and life feels infinite and forever and you're throwing away these hours where other people like this guy like he's running out of those hours He's running out of the summers. And that stuck with me. This was a long time ago. He's this, when he told me this, this was really quite a while ago. And I'm telling you this story now because it stuck with me. And I'm, I'm trying to live that way now. And I'm 41 or whatever. And you see me like in a lot of, well, you don't because I just started with YouTube. But I've been in a million zillion apartments and hotel rooms all over the world. and when I waste a day, I feel guilty. Like, I'm never gonna get that day back. And 
screw it. I mean, I suck at, at Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that crap for, for and myopia because how, ma how many hours am I gonna invest? Like I'm already spending a lot of hours trying to help you out and building this resource and that's about my limit. Like I don't wanna encourage you to spend time on social media. It's, screw social media, it's bullshit. Like go out and live the life that you look at on Instagram and Envy. Just live it. And I'm not saying this like motivationally speaking, like whatever, just 10 summers. Like realize that one day you're gonna arrive at that number where you can count the number of summers you have left. Are you gonna be wasting them then? You know? So, screw all this freaking social media stuff, whatever. Anyway, if you like this video, contrary to the advice I just gave you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one, which maybe will be still here in Bali, maybe another hotel if I get decent internet. See you.